Unfortunately, the Quran is the word of one man. And in the court of law, the word of one man is questionable. But a word that has a witness is more powerful. A witness gives substance to your argument. No witness, your case will fall on his face. Flat. The Bible and the Quran, which one came first? Answer, answer. The Bible is the answer and the Quran is not the truth. You know what? By virtue of logical argument, the Bible came before the Quran and so the Quran cannot be true. That is a simple argument. Simple argument. It doesn't matter which version. There is only one Bible. Only one. There is English. There is Latin. There is French. Listen, that is why you're confused. You are confused. The fact is that a lie is a lie is a lie. It doesn't matter how you dress a lie. It is a lie. You can polish it. You can veneer it. You can wave it up. A lie is a lie. But you know what? The truth is a truth. You can twist it. You can bend it. You can do whatever. You can try and bend the truth. But the truth will never change. There is only one truth. Jesus Christ is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only truth. Jesus Christ is the only truth. No prophet have claimed themselves to be the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. Not I speak truth. I am the truth. Jesus is the truth. Jesus Christ, the only way. Jesus Christ, the only truth. Jesus Christ, the only life. You know what? Only Jesus can give life. Nobody else can give life. Question is, how can Jesus give life? Because Jesus died and came back from the dead. Now, the greatest fear of mankind is death. Because nobody knows what will happen after you die. But you know what? Jesus died and rose from the dead to show us he has power over life and over death. And so, when you follow Jesus, you may die, but you will live again. Glory to God, Jesus Christ, the only way. The only way. And so I urge you, if you're a Muslim, I'm begging you, reconsider what you believe as your truth. Because you know what? The truth, there is only one truth. You can have your own truth. And the Bible came before the Quran. That alone destroys the argument of the Quran. Let's move to the second point. The second point is, if you have a case and there is no witness, you have a case and there's a witness. Which one is more believable? A case with no witnesses or a case with witnesses? Look, this is just logical. If you go to court and you have a case, you have a witness, your case is stronger. If you go to court, you have no witness, your case is weak. That is a witness of the Quran. The Quran has no witness. The Quran is the word of one man. The Bible is the word of many messengers. There is uh, Jesus sending Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. All these are witnesses. You are sick. Jesus Christ cares for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen. And he died for you. My point to you is that the Quran is the word of one man. You know something? This is what the problem is. They were thinking, oh, the Bible is different accounts. But let me ask you, if something happened in Speaker's Corner and people were told to write a witness, would they write word for word what happened? Of course not. People perceive differently. Some will even forget some past. And so there will be similar accounts by the same incident. Unfortunately, the Quran is the word of one man. And in the court of law, the word of one man is questionable. But a word that has a witness is more powerful. A witness gives substance to your argument. No witness, your case will fall on his face. Flat. That's why I say, if you take the Jewish Bible to the court, you take the Christian Bible to the court, you take the Muslim Quran to the court, the Quran will be thrown out. Because you know something? The Christian, the Jewish Bible has witnesses. The Christian Bible has witnesses. The Quran has no witness. None. 
None whatsoever. And so I urge you, if you're a Muslim, I love you. But please wake up to the truth. The lie and the truth, which one came first? And you know what? Because the Bible came for the Quran, the Quran is unbelievable. Please wake up and believe the truth and you'll be safe forever. God bless you. I love you. Stay blessed.